Hi guys, okay, so I decided that I would make another YouTube video this time to explain, you know, uh, bits, megabits, megabytes, bytes, all these different things, all these terminology that you may not understand. So stay back, hopefully relax, and uh, hopefully this would get a little bit too complicated, but um, you know, it's calculation, so it's me, right? So um, I bought a whiteboard just especially for this, so guys, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. All right. So let's go. So in in the world of IT, everything the, the, the smallest unit of representation is actually a bit. So a bit, one bit is either a zero or a one. Now the whole reason this came about actually with zeros and ones, if you don't know about it, is that current AC current, that is, AC current is a wave. So the wave goes something like this. The axis is here. And if you notice, the up would be like, okay, so this would be like zero. So it'd be like one, and then zero again here, one, zero again here, one. Right, so essentially, what uh, what end up happening is that they had to basically use the AC current and convert this into some you know electronic format. However, they had to do this in order to make a computer, and that's how they came up with the bit. So a bit. So let me just erase this the AC current because that for sure we're not going to use after this. So this was you know just giving you a little background on it. Right. So basically you have a bit. So the bit is the smallest measurement of unit. It is either a zero or a one. Right. So. And I'll, 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 I'll try to tie this thing back up all together afterwards, right? So there's one bit. So essentially, one byte, actually eight bits, make up one byte. Now you might wonder, well, what one byte is? Really, you could think of one byte as being like a character. So for example, the character A. Let's say there was a character A. Let me go across on the corner here. The character A, if it was to be converted into bits it may look like zero 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 one two three four five six seven and maybe a one right so you understand basically that's what it is that's what it is bits right so coming back to this now so one byte is sort of like a character if that makes any sense Right, so coming back to this again, 8 bits is equal to 1 byte. So the byte is really what most people would understand um, in terms of nowadays, right? Um, so 1 byte you could consider as a set of character. So 1000 bytes. Sorry guys, I have like literally two hands in use here. One of my hands is actually being used to, to write and one hand is being used to record. So 1000 bytes is equal to one kilobyte. Now this is really a simplified version and I'll explain why. In the, th the theoretical knowledge, it wouldn't be 1000 bytes, it's actually 1024 bytes. It is a multiple of two. But just to make things simple, I decided to make it just a thousand so that you would understand it a little better. So 1000 bytes equal to one kilobyte. 1000 kilobytes is equal to one megabyte. So, I mean, this is even closer to what most people would understand as well. We, you know, long ago, um, more like in the 19, uh, I would say the 1990s, from what you've seen on the screen there is what we were accustomed to. You'd hardly ever hear us mention about megabytes and and whatnot. We would talk about kilobytes because of because of how data was back then. I mean, um, we have come a long a, a long way from then. But I, as I say, in terms of like hard drives, hard drives was only like a megabyte in size or whatever is the case. Now we have you know hard drives terabytes in size. And I'll come to the explanation. So hope you keep track of what I'm doing here. So 1,000 kilobytes is equal to one megabyte. So in the same regard, 1,000. megabytes is 
one gigabyte. And in so doing, the same way, 1,000 gigabytes one is one terabyte. Now, why am I saying all this and why am I explaining all this? Well, nowadays the hard drives are, in, are normally considered in, in terabytes. So we, generally speaking, a commodity hard drive is, is now... Uh, between one to four terabytes um, and I will explain and, and I'll try to put this in perspective too but let me just also mention that a byte is represented as a B as a capital B actually kilobyte is K capital B both are capitals. Megabyte, same thing. M, capital B. And why? I'll tell you why the capital B is important. G, B for gigabyte. Capitals again. And T for TB. Capital Bs. All are capital Bs. So capital Bs represent bytes. Now, common Bs represent, guess, I'm, I'm focusing on it, bits. That's correct. Good. And why is that important? Okay, so let's move away a little bit from hard drives into how we explain, um, into, into how we, uh, sorry, how we uh, describe the bandwidth, the bandwidth on the internet. So have you ever came across someone who says, oh, the DSL connection is a one megabit in speed in download? One, so let's look at, please don't look at the top here, just look at here, right? One megabit. Per second. Now, as as you said, remember, as I said, one bit is the smallest unit. One byte is eight bits. Now we are talking here about bits. So, to the average user, they're thinking, "Oh, well, this is one megabyte." But truly, it is not one megabyte. In order for you to understand what one megabit per second really is in terms of a download speed. You would have to take the one megabit, which is really um, a thousand, one megabit would be a thousand kilobits, right? So one megabit, one megabit is equal to 1,000 kilobits. So basically what we're saying is if you have a DSL modem at 1 megabit, it actually is downloading 1,000 kilobits per second. Right? Per second. So you're putting per, per second there, right? Good. So to understand what this is in terms, of, in terms of bytes as opposed to bits, you would divide by 8. So... To get the speed in terms of kilobytes per second, you could do it like average one, one eight z twenty. So let's just say average. Uh, average is one twenty. Let I uh, just just averaging. I can not fit to calculate right now. So it will be one twenty kilo, kilo bytes with a capital B. And this is what we are accustomed to. And the reason why we are accustomed to things like kilobytes and megabytes is because, for example, if you were, do if you were to download an MP3, for example, an MP3 um, would basically be, uh, what, 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 about four megabytes. So let's say four megabytes. So let's put it in, into the into perspective of, um, let's download an MP3. So we need to understand how long it would take uh, one megabit DSL connection to download Four megabytes of data so in order to do that let's check it back here four megabytes is really four thousand kilobytes right now we already know from previously that one megabit is about 120 kilobytes per second so we would just divide it 
in order to get the in order to get the t in, in order to get the seconds because this is remember this is 120 kilobytes per second so we would divide 4000 by 120 kb and what that would do is that would give us the amount of seconds to download our mp3 which in this case is approximately and you know I'm using the line let's say approximately 40 seconds so I hope you guys are understanding where I'm coming from so essentially as I'm saying again so essentially the so a 4 megabyte download would take 40 seconds on a 1 megabit connection so a DSL let's go, let's go back again a DSL connection of 1 megabit actually doesn't download 1 megabyte per second it downloads about 1 eighth of that so the max you will get on the download is about 1 eighth of a megabyte so that is about 120 125 kilobytes understand and that's the difference because because some people say, oh, they're downloading at 100 megabytes, or they have a 1 megabyte DSL connection. But it's really not that. It's they have a 1 megabit DSL connection. So don't confuse the differences between a bit and a byte. When you need to convert a byte to a bit, you multiply the byte value by 8. When you have to convert from a bit to a byte, you will take the bit value and divide it by 8 to get the byte value. I hope this has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube videos and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.